Hi YouTube, I am here to tell you today about my favorite homeschool topic, planning. This is what I love to do and I know a lot of you don't. So I've tried to share a lot of my documents with you um, to hopefully make your planning life easier. This probably partially stems from my former life as a classroom teacher and I always made my own lesson plans because I could never find anything that fit exactly the way I wanted it to. And um, when I taught in public school, I taught failing consumer science, which is home ec, what home ec is now. And there's no lesson plan that fits that. And um, homeschooling is the same way. Everybody does things a little bit differently and it's just so nice to make your own. Um, so what I'm gonna do, this is literally my whole year. This is our whole plan for the year. And I'm going to just go through it step by step and tell you kind of my process. I'm not gonna spend tons of time talking about every individual sheet because I have videos for most of these that are linked to a tutorial, um, linked to the Excel document so you can download those for yourself. All those links will be down below in the description and all of this stuff is free for you to use. Um, I'm already making it, so if it's helpful to you, you might as well use it yourself, okay? Um, so this is our whole, this is our whole year. If you are joining me from the Good and the Beautiful Facebook groups, we are just implementing the Good and the Beautiful starting next year. Um, we're going to be using the science units and history for both of my school age kiddos. And then my kindergartner is gonna continue on with the language arts program. My oldest son who will be in third grade, he's gonna continue on with his language arts track, which he enjoys and he's doing well in, so we're not gonna change that up. So I'm in the process of figuring out how all of that stuff is gonna to mesh together. So this stuff isn't finalized and I'm gonna update things um, more specific to the good and the beautiful as I get them actually done. But I wanted you guys to see the planning process because I know so many of you are starting on that and you'll have a starting point, okay? So the very first thing that I do is I make this calendar. This is our whole school year at a glance on one sheet of paper. I'm going to do a tutorial on this because I got this calendar from a website, so I'm going to make sure I give them credit, and then I just adjust it to fit our family. So this is a 12-month calendar. We school from July to June. We usually take the whole month of June off. Um, and so the first thing that I do when I get this blank calendar is I go in and I mark all of our family birthdays. We don't always take off specifically for birthdays, but they do tend to fall during our breaks. Then I mark off all of the holidays that I know my husband is gonna be off work. Um, so 4th of July, Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's, um, those would be the main ones, Labor Day Memorial Day, because he tends to take off other time around those days off that he already has. So that way we can have time off together as a family. So I mark those days off as well. And then I go through and I just start through our year round schedule. And you can see all the reasons that we homeschool year round in the video that I'll link below. But we basically do nine weeks on and then three weeks off. So we have a fairly good break in September. Um, we take three weeks off in December, right around Christmas and New Year's. Um, then we take three weeks off in March. And then we have our summer five to six week break the end of May through the month of June. So that's the very first thing I do. Um, before I look at curriculum, I usually do this, I don't know, probably over Christmas break. Um, or in January when it's cold and crummy out, I start looking to the next school year. So I plan our calendar and get kind of a general idea of um, where we're going with things. Um, we homeschool in Iowa and I follow under the, I fall under the independent private instruction regulation in my state. So I don't have a required number of days in my category. Um, so that'd be something that you would wanna take into account if your state requires a certain number of days. We also don't require, we don't turn in lesson plans or anything like that, but I would still start this same process even if I had to eventually turn in more stuff to somebody else. So that's page one, done. Whole school year, general calendar, know when we're gonna take our breaks, that kind of thing. The next thing I start doing, and this is what we're currently working on, this is pretty much done now by mid-February, beginning of March. This is our course of study, and I have a tutorial for this. It links to the Excel spreadsheet. You can make this for your own kiddos. Um, each kid is a different color. My oldest son is green, my oldest daughter is purple, and then my younger daughter is pink. And she is just starting some 
very early, very loose preschool stuff, so she only has a couple lines on here. This is all of the curriculum that I need to buy or find um, or find in my basement in our school room that we're gonna be using next year. So each kid has their own color and their own section under um, Bible, reading, writing, grammar, spelling, handwriting, math, science, history, and then other, which includes geography, art, some of those kind of things. So I mark this on here, what we're gonna use. Um, I go ahead and start a price list so that if I find it used on a curriculum site, I know if I'm getting a good deal. And then when I have it, I mark it off. So you can see I have a few little yellow boxes. Those are things that I still need to purchase, but I have the majority of our curriculum already for next year. Um, there's just a few things I'm kind of waiting on to spread it out throughout the spring, just cost-wise, because we all know that homeschooling isn't free. Um, so this is our course of study. I talk to my kids, kind of figure out where we're gonna go with that, and then start putting it in here so I know what I need to buy. So those are my first two documents. These you can kind of work on together at the same time. Then this is the big one that people tend to really like and is very helpful for me. This is our whole year at a glance. Um, I have a video on this. I'm going to update it if you're going to use this for multiple kiddos because my original video I only had one school age kid. This is an Excel spreadsheet and each row is one week of school. So I have four pages that go all the way through week 36. Okay. So week 36 is down there at the bottom. Again, this is not complete because this is the planning stage that I'm in right now, but I want you to see where I'm at um, and how I got here and then where we're headed after this. So this is very basic. This says um, for Bible, we're going to be using the picture smart Bible. We're going to go through the Old Testament next year. We're kind of restarting. We'll finish up New Testament, New Testament at the end of the school year. And then we're going to intersperse some of the kids of integrity lessons so that's all it says. It says the Bible, Genesis, Exodus. There's no specific details in here. It's just very broad. Um, you can see I have started working in the weeks for my son's writing, grammar, and spelling. Again, he's following along with, um, he'll be doing first language lessons, level three, writing with ease, level three, all about spelling. He'll be in the middle of level three and finish that up, and then we'll start on level four. And my kindergartner is gonna be doing the good and the beautiful. Math, so far for next year, everybody's gonna be using Math UC. So I mark in their lesson weeks um, and when they're gonna have unit tests. Science, history, we do together as a family. So if you can see that, the big boxes are family style things. So Bible, um, math, they're on the same week. They're not doing it together, but the same week. History and science are all together. Um, and then here I have split boxes. My oldest son is on the top and then my daughter is down below. Then when my, my third um, is in kindergarten, then we'll add another row and everybody will have their same stuff. But this is our whole year, super simple at a glance. It's a four page document and this is the majority, this is all the lesson plan you really need if your state doesn't require something additional. So I have this, I spend a lot of time tweaking it, making sure I like the way that things are gonna flow. Just because it's on this doesn't mean it's set in stone. Everyone knows that things change but this at least gives me a good idea of where we're going, about how long it's gonna take us to complete something, and you know if we have time for a break or if we can move around and be a little bit flexible, this lets me see that all in one super easy place. Once this is done and we're ready to start school, then we move to the weekly checklist. This is my son's, he'll be a third grader next year, and this one with the little Hello Kitty picture, is my daughter, she'll be in first grade next year. These again are not finalized because things are still a little bit in flux, but these are also available on my blog um, in the Excel spreadsheet so that you can download them. There's a four day template, we school four days a week, and then there's one that has a fifth column if you do school five days a week. So at the beginning of the week when we get ready to um, get our stuff out, I grab my year at a glance, I look at week five, um, and then I can take and decide we're doing lessons 13 through 15 in grammar. And so I can fill that in on their checklist, what they need to do each day. I still keep it really simple on here so that we can be a little bit flexible if we need to, but all of the information then is here, that it's their responsibility to go through and check them off. And it's a really easy way to see when we're done, when they have their things done and what they have left to work on. Um, there are a few boxes that are grayed out we do science two days a week and history and geography two days a week. So that way I don't have to mess with them 
Um, they usually do handwriting every other day. So some of those things I've kind of pre-filled in. I know there's some people that use this last year that um, print these, type in the boxes, and then print them weekly. What I do is I print 36 of these, take them to the store, I have them spiral bound so that each kid has their own notebook and then this just sits right in their folder with all of their other work. It's just another thing that they have. Um, that way they don't have one piece of paper to lose. So I like having them all together. So that goes in order. So this winter I worked on our calendar for our whole school year. Then I started looking at the curriculum that we were gonna use once that's decided on. And you can even start on this year at a glance before you have all of your curriculum because you can almost always find your table of contents online in a, in a sample PDF or whatever it is. Put everything in a year at a glance, then this just stays with me. And then on a weekly basis, I can go and fill in all of their information on a weekly checklist. So when you're looking at it and you're starting the year and you don't know where to start, it seems daunting. So if you can kind of break it down into little chunks, um, like I said, I've done videos on each of these things, and then I feel like it just seems crazy to kind of put it all together. But when you do, it really is it really is simple, and it really is, you know, six pieces of paper, and then it gets transposed into your kid's weekly checklist. Um, it doesn't have to be this huge, overwhelming, overwhelming thing. Um, I like the planning part of it. So again, that's why I like doing this and it's easier for me. So hopefully by sharing those documents with you, it will make it a little bit less stressful for you as you start to plan your school year. And again, you can adjust down to one kid. You can adjust up to five or six. You just have to add the space for them um, and then get their individual things, things tied in there. So I hope that helps you guys to kind of see the whole plan at a year and how you can really get simply through your homeschool year without agonizing over the planning process. I will link to all of the videos, each of these individual tutorials, and then I'll put a link to my blog so that you can download all of these sheets for yourself. If you have questions, please leave them in the description or in the comments below, and I will answer them and um, help you out any way that I can. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Happy homeschooling. Please do this. Yep. Yeah. Do it.